over the next 24 hours, there's going to be a lot of bad and unfortunate news going around the NFL because it's cut down time. Teams have to go from 90 men to 53 men, and they have to do it uh, all within these next 24 hours. It has to be finalized. Now, of course, there are going to be some guys that get cut, and they're going to get re-signed by their respective teams. They're going to get some guys that are cut that get re-signed by other teams. And then, unfortunately, there's going to be some guys that are cut where their opportunity in the NFL is over. Uh, and that's a wrap. So that's going to be really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Um, something else that was unfortunate, too, uh, was y'all responses to me trying to bring Bashar Perryman back to the Ravens. I was looking at some of the responses, some of the quote tweets, some of the, all that. I said, man, I'm getting cooked. What's going on? But anyway, moving on to the encouraging news that we got from the Baltimore Ravens today. So we uh, got a report from Jeff Zrebic. And he talked about Mr. Tyus Bowser. And he said, Tyus Bowser, who is on the NFI list, the non-football injury-related list, uh, was working out on an adjacent field. So I'm like, okay, hey, because, and even though that's small, it is encouraging because we just have not been hearing anything whatsoever about Tyus Bowser. We have not been hearing a thing. Like, oh, is, is, is he close to coming back? When is it going to be? Like, John Harbaugh was asked about Tyus Bowser the other day. And he gave one of those John Harbaugh answers, one of them super general injury answers and whatnot. And I think they asked him, when is he going to be activated on the active roster? When is he going to be back? And he was like, oh, you'll see that transaction when you see it. Something like that. But John Harbaugh was not letting anybody know much of anything. I wonder if, I wonder if John Harbaugh, like, I don't even know. But I don't want to look like I don't know. So I'm going to tell y'all that y'all won't know until y'all know because that's when I'm going to know. But anyway, uh, with Tyus Bowser, that's good news. That's really good news because that means he's closer. He's closer. And really, over these next 24 hours, by tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time, we will know Tyus, Bowser, Tyus Bowser's week one status. Uh, and we might even know his weeks one through four status by tomorrow. Um, I don't expect him to play in week one. I, I wouldn't even expect him to be on the normal roster. I think he'll probably start like on the, the physically unable to perform list or something like that. So he'll have to miss the first four games of the year because I think I'm pretty sure they changed the rules for the physically unable to perform list because it used to be when you were on there, you could miss the first six. You had to miss the first six games. But now I think and, and y'all let me know if I'm wrong. Because I have been before and I will be again But I think it used to be six games But now I think it's four games if you start on the physically unable to perform list So I, I, that's what I think is going to happen with him So we'll see But it is nice that Tyus Bowser is back on the field Running and stuff and doing this thing So cool All right. But another guy who has been missing in action for way less amount of time I mean we just saw him a couple weeks ago And we ain't seen him since It's Tyler Huntley Tyler Huntley, we've been wondering, where's Tyler Huntley? Is MIA is just literally just now heard rumors about Tyler Huntley being traded. Whoa, whoa, hold up now, buddy. Whoa. But anyway, Tyler Huntley, uh, who has been sidelined the past couple of weeks uh, with a hamstring injury that said he was also working out on the adjacent field too. So that is a beautiful thing. Um, and that's what we like to hear. Uh, Cause Tyler Huntley, he's getting back close to being healthy again. Uh, and again, w when he first went out, they made it sound like it was super minor. And I was thinking, all right, this preseason, Tyler Huntley probably got a little banged up or whatever. But Ravens just being extra cautious. We ain't seen him since. We ain't seen him since. But now that he's getting closer to being back, because again, if he's working out on the opposite end, that's a good thing. So shout out to Tyler Huntley for that. Now, um, along with the encouraging news, just got some unfortunate news, too. Uh, there were some more roster cuts. Uh, and some of those roster cuts were uh, linebacker Kelly Sanders, offensive lineman uh, Jake Guidon, uh, and also a big fan favorite, somebody who a lot of people had high hopes for, and that was uh, Maryland wide receiver Dante Demas Jr., um, Dante Demas Jr. just had that really big catch the other night, uh, and now he's cut. He'll be a free agent, uh, and people, anybody will be able to sign him, and they could, I believe they could claim him on uh, waivers because he hits the waiver wire. Uh, so we'll see what happens with him. But this is one of those stories. It's just, it's just, it's, it's tough, man. It's tough. Now, while I, I did not anticipate Dante Demas Jr. making the roster, 
because I just I continue to say there was so much in front of him. It, it, it was just too much in front of him. I know some people thought after that big catch that he had, which was great the other night, that oh yeah, he's gonna be that wide receiver six. He's gonna make. I just I couldn't see it. Cause it, it was just so much stacked in front of him. Ravens have done so much at wide receiver this offseason alone. Uh, for the the, the, new, the new faces they brought in, the returning guys that they got, it was just for him to make the team. It would he would have had to be woof, Randy Moss out there in preseason and more. Um, but this does not mean just because he got cut from the Ravens, it doesn't mean that it's over. Hopefully, it's not over. Uh, hopefully he can catch on with somebody else. Like get it, catch on because he's a wide receiver. But yeah, hopefully he can catch on with somebody else, um, and and just make it happen. Because you never know, man. You, we 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 hear about these stories all the time. Oh man, I was cut from this team initially, uh, and then I got signed by this other team, and my career took off. Look at James Harrison. Ravens had James Harrison in there. James Harrison, Super Bowl champ, beast, strongest man in the world. It felt like at one time, James Harrison, he was a Baltimore Raven. They cut him. Ravens used to have Priest Holmes. Now they had him a little longer now. Y'all remember Priest Holmes? Running back for the Chiefs who went who would always go crazy. Um, Ravens also had Raheem Mostert. Uh, I know y'all remember him, but um, yeah, they had him too, and he ended up going to a couple of other teams and going off. So it happens. It, it happens. So it, it just just because they cut from one team, it doesn't mean that it's a wrap. Now, like we said earlier, unfortunately for some guys, it will be a wrap. It will be the end of the line for them. But that's that, man. Um. So yeah, that's uh, so that that's that's all we got for now, man. Um, another defensive tackle, uh, Kaheem Caesar and Trey Botts the third, uh, they were also cut as well. Oh, and and Corey Mayfield, he got cut earlier too. So yeah, man, um, it's it's crazy out here. It's crazy out here. It's busy out here. Uh, it's a lot going on right now. Uh, with not only the Baltimore Ravens, but as you all know, just the NFL as a whole. I'm sure y'all been getting notifications left and right, seeing all sorts of stuff happen everywhere. So, yeah, man, that's tough business. Like we always say, it's a tough, tough business. But anyway, Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss not one single update so you can stay all the way informed and more on not only the Baltimore Ravens, but just the NFL as a whole. I love y'all. Make sure you leave a like on the video if, if you like what you saw. Uh, I appreciate y'all supporting the channel. I appreciate y'all telling people about the channel. Whew. And we out.